Joining us is um, our guest, Ayobami Freeman, Adewali, popularly called Freeman, a Nigerian A&R artistic and repertoire, which is, and songwriter. He has always been helping his brother, Mayor of Lagos, Gigi, mm -hmm. with the composition of his song before he got signed by David O. His yes. first contribution was noticed when he worked with Puffy T, music producer, on his brother's first hit single, Eleko. I'm sure you remember that. Freeman is now considered as an A&R expert in the Nigerian music industry and has contributed to each single with popular acts such as David O, Peruzi, Mayokun, just to mention a few. He currently works at Sony Music West Africa, where he has also helped with the recruitment of new artists for the label, while on the other hand, Frank Unwan 4 is a music consultant, a &R distributor and entrepreneur. In June 2019, he kick-started his career as an a &R with Bad Boy Teen. <laughs> Within months, he launched his own company called Sound Genie a platform that functioned with the sole aim of grooming the next generation of music talent. He went back to the drawing board and co-founded a high-structured distribution company called Just African Music Jam. With Eze Izegozie, the former general manager of Universal Music West and East African, and Akinemi Sholanke, head of marketing Universal Music Nigerian signing, the likes of Bad, Bad Boy Teams, Inko Bile, Bucky Raw, Psycho, Psycho YP, Terry Apala, Major Bangs, and you know, and a oh. host of others. And yes, we have them with us in the studio. I Welcome to the drum, studio. Freeman and my like friend. <laughs> Welcome guys, welcome guys. Man, that was, I, I don't think I've read, I've, I've read <laughs> such a long <laughs> introduction. That Very means you guys have been putting in the work and yeah. that's really amazing. Yeah. So tell us about yourself, how you go into this business, you know, both of you real quick. In 30 seconds each. Oh yeah, I got into ANR. I've always been there for me. Oh. He's my brother. Mm. Mm. We can so, tell, you don't worry, yeah. you know oh, each other. You, that you. way. <laughs> so after the signing, I've been backing him up ever since so mm. his first recording Eleko, i was there to assist profiti myself david and mayo so i didn't even know anything like a and r do you mm. understand so i just knew that i've been doing this thing for a very long time do you understand so when it got to that point that okay it's like i'm quite free what is it that i want to really do with my mm. life you understand a and is something that is even involved in this music right. industry, do you understand? There's money in it. So I just hope to... All right. Uh, How about you? How did you get into this business? Uh, teams and I, bad boy teams, mm. uh, we've been, we went to the same university together. Yeah. So like, we're best friends, mm. right? So we've been doing this whole music thing before... And it's the bad boys sign. club. Bad boys club, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've been doing this whole music thing before he got signed. Yeah. Uh, not even in June 2019. We've been doing it way, uh, let's say... 2017, but mm. we're just Kicked moving, yeah, mm. saving money, mm. plug into radio, move by move. So uh, in June 2019, that's when he got signed. And I still didn't know, like, uh, I didn't know anything about the word A and R. At that time, I've never heard of it. All I knew, my work was just to, like, try to get things plugged to playlists uh, and distribute his music. So uh, later, in August, right, and I'll discover that, oh, what I've been doing since the whole a &R thing, mm. and I was like, okay, since a and is pretty much my life, I mean, he's my best friend, so mm. that's like a default. Mm. Why not, why just stick to a &R? Why not just establish a distribution company that can actually back up that a &R thing? And mm. so I just started Sound Genie, and we Sound Genie partnered with uh, Anonymous Music, that's Bad Boy Tim's mm. label, mm. and we became like the official uh, distributor and so that's how I started my career mm. based on you know it's worrisome sorry about that no, I'll okay. let you go it's worrisome that um you both ended up in this career path not even knowing exactly that, what, what yeah. you were doing yeah. and um I think that is more to say because in the introduction I told you that this is an untapped industry mm. that a lot of people do not know about what are the structures that you think should be put in place for more what to be put out there for a and our um, personnel to come out there and still stay relevant, as relevant as the artists themselves. Um, that, that's a good question, yeah, actually, because much. I think we just need to just um, like merge come it, together, come together with other artists, artists and yeah. create something. Because it's the artists that are really bringing us up. Do you yeah. understand? They're doing yeah. paving the way for Fair. us. Because 
For example, um, Gang of Lagos. Mm. I worked on Gang of Lagos, but you wouldn't know if they hadn't dropped that song or those mm. songs. Do you understand? Right. Mm. Like, I have like 100 songs I've worked on that mm. are not even out, and I cannot even say that, okay, I've done this, I've done that. Mm. But I, I have the Mayor of Lagos album too. Mm. That one is out, I worked on it. Betty Butter, true. Mm. Right. So that's something I should be able to talk about for you to see yeah. the value right. in yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. So you think you're still getting the value even though Yeah, you're being... yeah, and I'm still growing in Nigeria by the way, do you understand? Mm. Like unlike Yankee, American, yeah, like foreign structure. countries, mm. do you understand? Like it's a big thing there. Alright. Mm. So you can you quickly touch on the structure that you think should mm. be put in place for in and out to do better? Of for uh in our structure, right? There's barely any structure in Nigeria that has to do with right. I mean, people are just finding out that A and R is by luck. And mm. A and R is based on love. And people that like actually just call themselves A and R, mm. they pretty much think A and R is just play this thing and uh, putting A and R in their bio. Mm. It's doesn't it's way more than that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, like you understand. It's way more than that. It's I don't think like there's any deep structure that should be put in place. Right, because it has to do with just vibing, enjoying yourself, and exactly. making good music. Mm. Well, and love, that's, love is the first thing. If, you, if mm. you, you're an ear and for an artist and you're doing it based on money, you're just going to come as far as this and yeah. move to the next person. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, like, so my, my question to both of you, being really young, yeah. um, it's something that I've noticed in the industry. It seems like the game changes right now. Our mm. youngins, mm. they're really changing the game and putting structure and all that. What has been... Um, okay, let me, not, let me make it more specific. Have you had issues with really standing your ground and saying, guys, I have something serious to offer because you're youngings? Like, has that affected your, your progress? Considering what, considering this, yeah, no. mm. um, I have something to offer. What do you have to offer? <laughs> <laughs> like, do, you, do people will say, ah, oh, this guy's too young, because you can't really do what he's saying. Oh, yeah, 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 Sure, now, when they see me, see this boy, this hair, yeah. <laughs> you know, out to it, you know, I'm what is I work with Sony, mm. that is a big deal, you yeah. don't know, mm. now you know, do you mm. understand? That means, like, I did something to get there. Mm. Yeah. They saw Obviously my value and they mm. employed me. Yeah. So you now that you're just there and I'm trying to, help you something, mm. regardless of the payment. I'm so sorry, I have to bring um, privileges into this, right? Because a lot of people see um, people like you that have, you have mayor behind you, you get. In fact, you can pass for mayor, you can be like, gay gay, we will leave you, <laughs> and you will leave. Do you understand? You look that much like mayor kun. So now, for somebody who doesn't have that advantage, that doesn't have a, a brother in the industry that is so popular, or you that is working with a bad boy mm. team and just wants to bring something to the table, Please, how can such a person project without their talents us. and the things they have to do without being looked down upon? Because you guys are privileged, if you ask me. Uh, I don't <laughs> think there's anything you can do that you won't be looked down upon mm. in this music industry. Mm. And I know for myself, because I stare with zero, no resources or whatever. Mm. Do you understand? You just have that look, being looked down upon and she's like... Be a ginger. I, will, I want to be looked down upon so I can prove you wrong. Mm. I love it. Mm. Look down upon me so I can bring you down to the floor. That's it. But so. how easy do you have it for you, though, being the mayor's brother? Ah, man. Before mayor got to this point, my mom was a popular actress. So oh. that's always been Mama, Mama T. Mm. Do you understand? So You've been always coping, been in that industry. Yeah. You've been coping. Okay. Um, yeah. I want to ask, though, um, behind the scenes now, let's say I'm an artist, I'm watching the show right now, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, a &R, and I don't have one. I don't have an A&R. Mm -hmm. um, how should that person go about it? What should they be looking out for? Because I know in the, in the industry, entertainment industry in general, there's a lot of performers, people who like to claim that they can perform magic and they can offer you heaven and earth. But if I'm an artist looking now, what should I look out for to make sure that I'm with the right plug? Basically, sell yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, I already worked on the May of Lagos album. That's a major proof. Right. Mm. Banging music, song, smash. Mm. True, that's not the album. May of Conquist Daniel. I also worked on Betty Butter, Davido, and May of Con mm. Gang. Um, there's this song, Mafa Mafa. May is not even on that track. Mm. Flo Wolf, Flo Wolf. and David. I worked on it too. Like, I did the intro. Mm. Right. Are you a producer as well? Mm, no, I'm not. Okay, so when you say you worked on the intro, what does that mean? Like, 
like chanting now. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 Oh, that's you. Yeah. Can you do that for us real quick? Can we go on? Pa 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 we would like to touch on um, what A and R does, right? So we know you deal with distribution, scouting for artists, you know, creating publicity balls for your artists as well. And um, just right before you joined us, we were talking about David Doe and um, Abu Kaz interview where he spoke about. Um, okay, you need to sip your tea. Do you want to see something as well before we go on? All right. So we're talking about how David Doe went on to say whiskey and Bonner Boy are ganging up against him, and then there has been different theories on social media that this is publicity stunt. They both have big albums this period. Twice as tall as Drop, um, Better Time is coming out, and um, Whiskey's Made in Lagos is also about to be out. So people are saying, okay, this is just for this on this guys are actually People cool. are you. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. me? People are you. Okay, kind of. Yeah, maybe I'm one of them, but guys, you know, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> so real quick, um, is that part of the things you do? Do you stir up controversy just to make your artists stay relevant? Mm. Or some of them are actually true? And Yeah, obviously, some of them are actually true, but you stir up controversy to keep your artists deliberately. No, nah, I wouldn't do that. Because, like, that. you can, you can, it's not even controversy that, like, come out. Like well. But do you milk certain, okay, like the David Doe and mm. Bonaboy Boy thing yeah. started? I will milk, uh, I will milk you, every Yeah, you started, every you drop. milk it, right? <laughs> yes. So the fact that um, people yeah. already started saying, I know Fivex, um, um, way too big is dedicated to mm -hmm. David Doe and Femme came out, mm. even though it wasn't true for you that is in the inner circle, right? You do you it milk it? Do you allow it to fly and even put small petrol? Like, at this fire, the bomb will pour petrol. Man, that's what Nigerians like, to be honest. So, if we don't want to do that, they will find a way to do it because themselves, that yeah. bloggers are mm. carrying out. So, it's a possibility that this old David Doe, Bonner Boy, Whiskey thing is publicity story. It's just a possibility. We are not saying it is what mm. it is. I know it's manager, but it's possible. <laughs> it's possible, have you? Yeah. Mm. It could be. I mean, it's it's all win win. They're making numbers and mm, good music, so it's win right. for everybody. What for would you say is that that trait that an A and R should not have? And shouldn't pick side. And then tight to them. Shouldn't feel tight to because you just end up with hard. Speaking of not picking side, how easy would that be for you being Mayo Kun's brother and then mm -hmm. you have an, um, so maybe another artist that is probably a competition to the Mayo of Lagos? Would maybe, you pick your brother's yeah. side? Oh, Mayo is standing on his own, number one. There's no competition. No competition. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Um, real quick. We're, we're running out of time. So tell us what you're up to in a few seconds and you as well. Mm, so like we we just dropped a MJ video featuring yeah, Mayo, Mayo mm. Kun. So like this is this is really <laughs> amazing. Oh, so, yeah. yes. And I will I'm cur we're currently working on like Tim's new release mm. and yeah. That's pretty much what's going around right now, except my distribution company, Jam Distro. Mm. Jam. Um, yeah, well just African music. Because mm. it's just just about what I'm focused on is grooming my own next generation of music star mm. like i love working with like upcoming. zero upcomings from zero numbers let's right. groom that this thing then when you get there you can decide what you want to do with your time if you want to take me along mm. yo, that's good if you don't want to take that's cool i'll be fine anyways mm. wow. then i go back to the next zero person mm. so that's more like my dream man so that's right. what i'm working on how about you freeman that's cool what are you working on what's what's up with you so that's the major work of an year now He's not even working with the made artists, to be honest, because mm. we just try to bring up... Create new generation. Is there any upcoming artists right now that, that you're working That we should know about. On? Okay, you yeah. know what? Enlighten the people who there's haven't Shambi, heard about. There's... Who? Show what? Sean B is also Shambi. signed to Sony Music, okay. West okay. Africa. Okay. On Adema, she has a song with Dremo, Banging, No Time. Are you an A&R for all the people you mentioned? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, flow to my yeah, family. Yeah. All right, right, so for you, what, which artists are we sleeping on? Upcoming artists are ah, we sleeping on? Man, upcoming Zeno Rankin is there. Mm. My Yardin Barry is Wolf, there. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, Bucky Roll from Liberia is yeah. there. Mm. Nobile, Nobile, she's, no, okay, she's yeah, from I, I'm more than that name, my bad. Sure. I'm so sorry. She was so a dancer, been sleeping on right? Yeah. She was a dancer, yeah. and we will, my company released her first song mm. when she switched into the whole music thing. Yeah. She signed with us, so that's a really huge person you should yeah i would say she's an upcoming because she just switched to music mm. and i mean we have uh maradona mm. 
All we right. have uh, we know say you do we have you guys Cheryl. should also watch out for the first lady the dmw first lady oh yeah yes. Yes. yeah we saw that yes. 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 yeah <laughs> all right so i wish we had more time but that's all we can take today but thank you for watching join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or tweet at us at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on all our previous episodes including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa